Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I did post a past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals in tarot. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this new person feel about Gemini? Cool. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. The Four of Cups could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We have the Seven of Cups, okay. Lots of water coming through here. Three of Cups, yeah. So you have someone here, Gemini, who's actually really interested in you. I feel like they are um, developing feelings for you. They like you, right? I do love reading, so love can be romantic. Obviously, this could be just a friend, but there's confusion around this. This person feels like they don't know what to do. They feel like they have a really good time here with you, but it's almost like, if they take it further, say if this is romantic, it's like they feel like it could go bad either way. If they stay put, don't do anything, um, they could be missing out on something more with you. But if they take the route of pursuing something more, they could ruin what they already have with you. So it's almost like fear no matter what, but they have like it's all their feelings are all over the place here. It's like they think about coming forward, they think about making an offer, letting you know that they like you, that they care about you, that they want more, but then they don't want to ruin what's already at play here. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Four of Pentacles and Temperance. You're getting four of four here. It could be dealing with the Sagittarius. It's like this person feels like they need more time. They need more time to decide what they want, what they want to do, how they want to go about it. Um, yeah, they want to hold on to what you already have right now. So even if this is just like the two of you talking a lot and really like enjoying each other's conversation, it's like they're scared to take it to that next step. If you're already past that, it's like maybe they want more with you. They want um, commitment or uh, to spend more time or something like that. I don't know. Wherever you are at or wherever you will be at if this person hasn't come in yet, there is this desire to have more, but they feel like they need to be patient. They need to take their time. They need to like see all options first right for some of you this could mean that they have other options with the seven of cups there i feel like it's more about taking their time with you to understand exactly it's not so much they have like five people in the wing like waiting for them it's more about like let me just see how this plays out they're confused they don't know what to do yet but they do know that they have a good time with you and that they are really starting to like you a lot tell me more about the knight of cups they're very much in their feels <laughs> Very much in their feels. Yeah, Ten of Wands. It stresses them out. It's like they, they don't know whether or not they should come forward or not. Well, while you would hope that when someone has like a crush and um, or whatever and, and they're, they're having these good feelings, it's like exciting. It's like, okay, I can't wait for this next step. I can't wait for us to experience this or to do that with each other or whatever. Um, it feels more like stressful for this person. Now, I don't know if this is like a friend who's developing feelings or there's just... Uh, I heard distance. I don't know if there's like physical distance between the two of you. There's something about this that while it feels really good, at the same time, it feels um, burdensome, stressful. Like, I don't know what to do. What, how to, what next step to take? Let me just take my time here. This person sees you as someone who's very patient as well. So they feel like they have this, the, the chance and the opportunity to take their time, right? Um, yeah, it feels like you're being very patient too. Kind of trying to see like 
you know, you're not trying to rush it either. Maybe the two of you are just enjoying each other so much that it's almost like, where do we take it now? Be, maybe you're both feeling this way, not wanting to ruin what you already have, but also curious about what could come about, right? Um, so this could be a friend of a friend with the Three of Cups. I just feel like there is a lot of good energy, a lot of good times, a lot of laughter. Um, this person might be like a jokester, likes to make a lot of jokes. Right? And they do like you, but it's it's stressful. So let's let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? We have the three of pentacles. Okay. Could be a work situation, doesn't have to be. The seven of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. So I, I gotta be honest, this person's stepping up. I feel like there's a lot of action in the next little bit. Maybe something you haven't seen from them yet. They are taking initiative here. I feel like this is someone who's going to, um, and I see the Ace of Swords at the bottom. Hopefully it comes out. I feel like they are going to show you more. Like, hey, I'm, I'm invested in this. So it's less about the feeling and, I mean, they still have the feelings, but it's more about this person taking action in the next little bit. Tell me more about this. Six of, look at all these pentacles coming out. It's pretty much all cups and how they feel. And now it's all pentacles. So like I said, I feel like this person's going to put in more effort in the next bit here, show you they can be responsible, that they can multitask, that they can, you know, show up to this, but also show up for you here. Um, especially if this is a work situation. I feel like they, they put a lot of energy into a lot of different things, but they want you to know that you're a priority. They want to invest in this. Right, so maybe the action that was lacking is going to change. I do see them putting in more effort here. Anything else? We did get the Queen of Swords. What's that about? The Two of Pentacles. It's almost like, and I see the lovers at the bottom. It's almost like this person is trying to just be very observant, logical, analytical about the fact that they're so back and forth with you and and what to do next it's almost like they're they they come off like it doesn't bother them that much um they're just trying to be smart about it right like again like i don't know if this is a work situation or a friend or something they're not trying to they're not trying to disrupt what you already have going on but they also get curious about having more so it's like they're just trying to yeah be smart about it i don't know it's like this is someone who doesn't want to make a mistake Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Doesn't want to make a mistake. Look at that. The Four of Wands. They want to take it to the next level. Ace of Cups on the bottom. This is someone who wants that next step here with you. But they're trying to be, okay, logically, how do we go about this? How do I tell Gemini? I almost said Virgo. I don't know why. Maybe dealing with a Virgo. How do I tell Gemini? How do I let them know? What's the next logical step to take? If I see the end goal, how do I get there? Like this is someone who's like thinking about... 10 steps ahead right um so they definitely want more with you again i don't know what the, like let me know in the comments try to see if there's someone else in the comments that shares the same experience as you this could be a friend who wants more a work situation that's trying to like ask you out outside of work right this could be just like a new love interest who's really enjoying conversation with you likes you but doesn't know how to say let's meet up right but they want to do it whatever that next step is they want to they're just trying to, they almost want to come off to you too. Like they, they're very sure. They're very confident of, in themselves. They know, they thought of everything, every possible scenario here. Um, Cause I just heard like, what if, like, so, I mean, I mean, what if is usually anxiety, right? Like what if this happens? What if that happens? But there's a million possibilities you can fill in the blank when you ask yourself, what if? So especially if this is say like a work situation, well, what if we get in trouble or what if, you know, we don't get along and then we have to see each other at work or, um, you know, what if that mutual friend, we, it all falls apart or something like that. Like, I feel like this person's thought about everything and they want you to know that they thought about everything. They're not just coming forward with more action and like, hopefully this works. It's like, no, no, no. I've like scanned every possible scenario that could happen. And I want to take it to that next step. What does that look like? So expect more action from this person, more effort. Um, let's see their intentions though. What is this person's intentions with Gemini? It's this one. We got the Five of Swords. We got the Hermit. There's that Virgo energy. We got the Seven of Wands. We got the Sun. Interesting. You know, it's interesting. I don't know what it is about this connection. I see the lovers again on the bottom. 
This is someone who realizes that they can self-sabotage. This can be someone who overanalyzes, who looks too deep into situations. Um, I feel like they knew this about themselves, but there's something about this connection that has brought it to light, has brought it to the surface even more so, and they want to change that. Tell me about the other side of death, rebirth. Ten of Wands, Knight of Swords. This person, oof, the Empress, this person does not want to let the stress of it all, the burden, the, the fear hold them back. They want to just be open to receiving what they have right in front of them, which they feel like is an amazing either friend or potential love connection here with you, Gemini, with the Empress energy. This is someone who's like, let me stop thinking so hard and just, just go for it. Let me just be open to receive what's right in front of me. Because I feel like this person knows this about themselves. They tend to self-sabotage. They tend to make it more complicated than it has to be. This kind of came out for Scorpio. So if you have a Scorpio you're dealing with or you have Scorpio in your chart, there could be something there for you. But I feel like this person realizes like they have a, a wonderful potential connection right in front of them. So they really want to sort of leave their fears behind, leave their troubles behind, leave the stress behind and just go for it. And show you that they value you as well with that Empress card. What's the potential outcome then? We have Taurus, Libra energy there. Six of Wands, success. The Nine of Wands. That's that wounded warrior. Being a little bit unsure. Yeah, Two of Swords. Indecision here. Okay, so how do we go from success to Three of Wands? Something with the Six of Wands? Is someone getting attention from someone else? I don't know if this is you or them, but there could be like attention being brought, being really well liked by someone else or something here. It feels like, it feels really good in the moment. It's not very deep though. And then it causes, like, you might even find out, like, okay, like, this person has something else, someone else that really likes them or that they're always spending time with or something like that. So now you're indecisive. Now your walls are up. Whoa, whoa. Anything else with that Queen of Wands? Ace of Wands? Yeah, it just feels like something surface level here, like, just, like, flirting. I see Eight of Cups at the bottom. It's not deep. It's not emotional. It's not how this person feels about you if it is them. You don't feel this way about this other person either, I don't feel. It, it, it just feels like a flirting thing. But I feel like that somehow comes to the surface and now makes the decision even harder to move forward. Like, say this is like a work friend who has a crush on you. You might start talking about, oh, I, you know, I started um, talking to this person on this, this dating app and we're flirting and it seems like it's going well. And now this person at work is like, oh, damn, like I really can't tell Gemini how I feel about them now. Right. Or it could be vice versa. It's like something like that. Anything else? But Ace of Swords, there's going to be a conversation here. There's going to be a... Tell me about the Ace of Swords. It's going to be a conversation that I feel like is going to clear things up. Look at this. King of Wands. Confidence here. Could even be admittance to like, hey, yeah, like I had that physical connection with that person or that flirty connection, but like that's all that it was. Anything else about the Ace of Swords? Um, there's going to be clarity here. Look at Nine of Cups. You are my wish fulfillment. You are what I want. I see the Ten of Swords. It could be even ending something else here. You are what makes me happy. So I feel like eventually there will be this open, honest conversation between the two of you. But I, I have to be honest, I feel like there could be something else that's like giving them attention or you're getting attention from that kind of like gets in the way a little bit here. But like intuitively, it's almost like you know, or this person knows it's not anything too serious. So there is an, a, a conversation coming that'll make you feel better and make this person feel better. You, got, you, you both will know where you stand with one another. Um, how will Gemini know who this is? Four of Pentacles, someone who, yeah, there's that Nine of Swords. What if anxiety, someone who holds back and someone who's um, really anxious, like overthinks things. But look at this, Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who is solid though. Like they're willing to move away from anything that's not serving this connection, not serving them, including if it is that queen of wands for them. This is someone who's solid. This is someone who um, can is dependable, wants their happily ever after as well, is a good friend. If it is just a friend, someone who will show up for you, right? But I feel like they overthink a lot. I see the devil on the bottom. Yeah, that could be like their, their shadow side coming through. They overthink. 
their anxiety gets the best of them they're trying to move away from that though i feel like at the end of the day this person is a solid person though any advice for gemini page of pentacles be curious about it see where this could lead right it's just the beginning things take time oh we have the magician the king of swords yeah you two are gonna have really good conversation eventually i think there's almost like a barrier you have to break through first um with the magician there you like this is you manifesting it however you want it to go right if you see it really going somewhere with this person then it can the queen of pentacles again right like if you want this person to be putting in the effort the same kind of effort you put into connections then yeah like you got the king and queen of swords the king and queen of pentacles even the king and queen of wands here right like there is like a lot of and i know that came through as the other person but i feel like the two of you share a lot of similarities um yeah i feel like you're also trying to see this from a logical perspective right but just know it takes time for things to grow that's all i get from this is like it, it sometimes we can look at situations and be like i just want to be in that committed relationship for instance where you know um we hang out all the time or we we have our set planned dates and like you're just comfortable and whatever you kind of it's almost like wanting to skip some steps but things take time and this will take time but i feel like it'll be worth it horse look at short journey so it could be shorter than than what you imagine right like it won't take as long as you think ram a stubborn aggressive person okay i don't know who that is i'll pull on that um candle you will be shown the way i don't know if someone just bought a candle um what is this ram what is this stubborn aggressive person the king of swords that came through as your advice i don't know if that's you don't shoot the messenger gemini or even if you're cross watching right do you tend to be aggressive or stubborn ace of pentacles it's like like I said, you have to let things grow. The Ace of Pentacles is, well, I always like to look at it in this deck because it's like a seed, right? You, if you're trying to rush a seed growing, you, like you simply just can't. You have to plant it and you have to allow it the time to grow, right? So I don't, I mean, don't, again, don't shoot the messenger when that comes through, but um, it came through for a reason hat you will be playing a different role so maybe this is you being open to receive as well not always having to lead um the connection broken ring parting of the ways in either romance or business i feel like this has to do with possibly the queen of wands here someone else who might be in the mix let's see tell me about broken ring tell me about broken ring seven of swords knight of wands yeah it's something it's something being hidden it's not fully at the surface someone's playing like games or hot and colds here knight of pentacles like i mean it could be this person right it takes them a long time to trust people or to open up so in the meantime they are keeping their options open right it doesn't have to be we got fair male lighter than darker only take what resonates Family, origin, family, soul groups, twin, ooh, twin flame, spiritual alignment, effortless, karmic. Some of you could feel like this is twin flame. I wasn't heavily getting that, um, but you could just also feel like this is an effortless connection, but also it's <laughs> taking a taking time. Gossip, neighbors, small talk, grapevine. I don't know if that's who this Queen of Wands is pertaining to. Maybe there's some gossip around your connection and communication, texting, phone calls online. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Messages for Gemini. Listen to your intuition. Scorpio also got this. So whatever your gut feeling is here, Gemini, go with it. If you have a gut feeling they're lying about something, there will be clarity. You got that Ace of Swords in the potential outcome, right? And then look at this. You just got forgiveness as I said that. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Maybe you'll come to find out that this person was, um, you know, not completely honest about someone else or something else, right? It makes them seem like they're a player here. Um, they like attention or something. It puts your walls up. 
I feel like what it is is that this person is um, fearful to ruin anything that the two of you have. Now, I'm not justifying any behavior here. Obviously, depending on what they did, may be unforgivable, right? That's for you to decide. Listen to your intuition. But you did get forgiveness here for a reason. And then we got portal. Doors are opening. You decide rewards wild card. Literally, that's exactly what came through, right? So you decide. Not even tarot can tell you what to do, right? Only use it as support, as guidance, not as the final decision, right? But you decide. Doors are opening. You get to decide. And it, it does say wild card. So you might feel like this person is a bit of a risk. Um, but look at that. We got happy, happy. Beautiful. Number 26 here, Scorpio. So let's see. If you still have questions though, Scorpio, make sure you check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. Uh, there you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes of them are completely free. So you can ask them any questions in that first five minutes. But your card says, there are moments in a relationship when you just feel good about whom you're with and you know that your heart is wide open. To befriend, to love, to care for another without wanting anything in return. This is the kind of happy that you just want to share. The appearance of this card in a reading tells you that joy and contentment are here now, not somewhere else or off in the future. The grass is greenest right where you stand. Be grateful and delight in your relationship. And if you're seeking one, be happy now. Happiness attracts more of itself, like bees to honey. Wow. So you got joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Even if there is sort of like this like bump in the road here or something, maybe they're in a twin flame connection. Um, let's see. Just feel like it's like worth the wait, kinda. Um, but these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates. If something here does not resonate though, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got W. H, E, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, so I really hope something here resonated, Gemini. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I'm sending you so much love and so much light.